Glad you stopped by to join me for this continuing walk with Jesus this summer. Today we're stopping in Luke 8, verses 1 through 3. Soon afterwards, Jesus went on through cities and villages, proclaiming and bringing the good news of the kingdom of God. The twelve were with him, as well as some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, and Johanna, the wife of Herod's steward, Chesa, and Susanna, and many others, who provided for them out of their resources. And when Jesus is traveling through Galilee, spreading word of the kingdom of God, women traveled with him. Women who provided for him, helped to pay the expenses of this large group of people wandering through Galilee, sharing the hope and love of God. These women who joined Jesus, women who had been cast out of society because they were said to be full of demons, women who had been rejected because they had an illness, and Jesus came along and said, you're welcome. You're invited into this community. And they felt so welcome that they continued with him throughout his journey. For they're the ones that we hear were there to the very end, never deserted him. We're the first ones to proclaim the resurrection. So I invite you to close your eyes and to breathe in deeply. I invite you to rest. Rest in the wonder and love of God. Jesus, We thank you for the women who journeyed with you. And we thank you for the women who have journeyed with us. Those women in our lives who have shown us what faith means. Our mothers and grandmothers, our Sunday school teachers and youth leaders, our pastors and friends. We lift up to you the names of those women who have touched our lives and grown our faith. And God, we lift up to you now the women in our lives we know who are struggling with demons. These women who are confronting that stuff inside that is hard and difficult. Whether those demons are addiction or whether it's their own mind attacking itself. We lift up to you those women we know who are suffering from mental illness, who are struggling with addiction. And God, we lift up to you those women in our lives that are suffering infirmities. We have people we know who are ill, who are full of cancer, who are reaching the end of their lives, who are struggling with an illness, a chronic disease. We lift their names to you now.
Holy One, we invite you to walk with us, to walk with us as we walk with you through those paths that lead us to people and places in need of your care, through those paths where you need some of our resources to be your resources. Holy One, continue to walk with us and guide us on this journey of life. Amen.